Hi, my name is Stephanie Hodges and I teach fifth grade at Cruise Lake K-8. Remind 101 is a great way to communicate with all parents in a classroom by the hit of one button. It allows you to send a text message or email to parents who have signed up for the program. It's safe because it gives you a randomized number, so it's not actually your cell phone number. So it's a class phone number as a whole, and then the parents cannot respond. So if they have a further question, they have to communicate with you via email or phone. It literally takes two seconds. You can set up a class, and then you print a paper that tells your parents how to sign up, and it also takes them a few seconds to get it signed up through their phone or computer the instant communication. We've used things like the Facebook before, email, and um, we've also used Facebook. The problem that we run into is people don't check it very often. With Remind 101, it's a text message, so it automatically goes out and blasts whoever has signed up for it. So we're able to remind staff of upcoming events that are happening. Um, I'll send out one in the morning and just say, hey, don't forget this morning we have a faculty meeting. So it allows our staff that quick reminder, and I don't have to rely on email coming through or did they check Facebook. Facebook the night before or whatever. It's an instant form of communication for us. This is a brief tutorial video on using Remind 101. To access Remind 101, simply go to remind101.com. You can use this from a computer, laptop, tablet, smartphone, or any other device that accesses the internet. Simply create a free account or log in with your current information. Once you log in, you'll see your class list to the left. If you don't have any classes, you're going to have to add your own. You'll see the Add a New Class tab. Simply click it one time, and you can input a class name and a class code. Keep in mind, this class code is like a one-time entrance password. You don't need to memorize it. You'll be able to generate a flyer direct from Remind 101 to send home with your students and parents. So this is just a one-time thing. You can customize it or you can just choose a random code that Remind 101 can generate for you. Once you've created a name and a code, click the blue Add button. And now your class will appear over here in your class list. Now I'm able to send messages to my class. But first, we need to have people actually subscribe to our class. They can subscribe via email or by text message. They subscribe to your class by texting your special code to the phone number Remind 101 provides. Again, you don't need to write this down because Remind 101 generates a flyer for you. I clicked that print button and it gives specific directions on signing up for my Musical Theater 101 class via text message or via email. Again, all I did to generate this was click that print button. You could also see view and see the same kind of thing as well. You'll see your subscribers down here. Right now we have none in this class as it's brand new, but I could always look at one of my other classes that do have parents already. So for example, this class has several parents and staff members already listed. I'm able to edit my staff members by simply clicking on a name and I can remove them from the program or I can click edit and change their name. These are actual parents. I can keep a running list of all communication below. So at the bottom of your Remind 101 screen, you'll see a list of whatever communications you've had with that class. You can even tweet out alerts if they're relevant. For example, school's canceled as it's a snow day. To send an alert, you simply type in this message area. If you'd like to send it to one or more class at a time, you could ask many classes that you like by simply selecting them here or choosing add all. So in an instance like a snow cancellation, you'd be able to add all of your classes here if necessary. You can also schedule it for later by clicking this schedule for later box and you can say a specific date or time to send the text message. What's really great is if you try to send things after a certain time, it tells you that it's really too late to send a text message um, or it suggests that you don't as it might be considered a little bit inappropriate. So once you're ready to send your text, you simply click that send button, or if you chose to schedule it, you would click that blue schedule button, and then your text would go out as planned. If you have any questions about Remind 101, please contact me via email at alicia.mccall at millvillenj.gov.